Jeb, tired of waiting for his money, took his tractors back. There are extra barriers up at the mine and we did a contract to get a new tractor. We did a little bit of research to find out a little bit more about the mine and we headed up there and found there was people working through the night. And we also found evidence that not was all that appeared with the fire on the ridge. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Elk Mountain. Things have just started to get very serious. I know it's early in the morning now, but uh, we are just heading back to the truck after seeing some things going on at the mine, and also discovering that somebody set alight this fire on the ridge on purpose. I don't know why yet, or what the reason was, I believe it's something to do with Jeb and his brother. But what I can't do is hang around here any longer. I do not want to get caught up here. Even though I'm doing no wrong, I'm not trespassed on any ground, really. I was above the mine, and there's no uh, law to say I can't go walking around in Burn Ridge. But I think we better head home. Morning, everyone. Well, I'm not going to lie, I did not sleep much. Um, I'm going to head up to the farm now. I want to check on the oil pump. It's a bit of a wet day and of course, look who's over there keeping tabs on us. I swear I'm being watched now. It's a pretty unpleasant feeling, I'm not going to lie to you. It really is. I don't think I've done anything untoward, but uh, it feels like I'm public enemy number one. Right, let's head over to the farm and see what's going down. Not much we can do today, we finished planting the fields. Now I also just wanted to point out this. Jeb has started his own YouTube channel. Now I was obviously recording my videos for a little bit of a documentary, which has now turned into, I guess, evidence as far as I'm concerned. But he's started to bad mouth me, he's saying things that are not true. So just keep your wits about you people. Don't believe everything you see on the internet. So here we are, back at the fields. There's the new tractor, which I'm really, really enjoying. And like I said, we've got both fields planted now. We've got wheat in both of the fields. Now we do have some rocks here. Ideally, I would like to roll these back under. Being small rocks, we can do that. We don't have to collect them. Um, but with no money, we can't really do anything more with these fields. That 3,400 isn't going to get us too far. But let's head over to the oil pump and see what's happening over there. So here we are. You can oh, listen to the wind whipping up. People did tell me that Wyoming's weather was pretty grim, but uh, I see what they mean now. Um, 6,800 litres. We're really getting through some uh, oil now. That's awesome. Um, yeah, we probably need to find a way of getting this out of here. I know that uh, Clint has got an old milk truck, actually, that he's not using anymore. Um, I wonder if we can uh, ask him for a bit of help with that. I'm even willing to buy that off him. Of course, I think we'll maybe need to do a contract or two first to make the money for that. But we'll go and see him anyway, see what he says. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, wait a minute. We've got a visitor. I wonder what he wants. What have we done now? Good morning, Sheriff. How can I help? I was just up here and I thought I would check. I see you put an oil pump in there. I want to make sure you've got the mineral rights for this land. Well, I, I own the land. It was left to me by my Uncle Ambrose. Oh yes, 
I'm very aware who your Uncle Ambrose is. But it doesn't change the fact that if you haven't got the mineral rights, you shouldn't be pumping oil here. And you need to sundown to come up with the paperwork, or I'm shutting you down. Have a good day, sir. Of course he is. Honestly, you couldn't make this up, could you? Seems to be one thing after another at the moment. Well, that kind of means we're on a deadline. I need to get that oil out of there before he comes back. Because without that oil, we are in a really sticky predicament. Right, let's go see Clint. He might just get us out of a hole. Okay, here we are at Clint's, and well, what do you know? Look who's over at Jeb's again. The Sheriff. Man, it makes me sick. Right, let's go and find Clint and ask him about this old milk tanker. Clint? How are you, buddy? Oh, hey, FSG. How's it going, man? Yeah, I'm, good. I'm doing good, thanks, buddy. Um, that old milk tanker you've got across the uh, way there. Do you use that at all now? Do you see any cows here, dude? No way, we don't use that anymore. I mean, it's worth money, I'm not going to give it to you. But if you can get it started, and you can give me, I don't know what, but let's say five grand. It's yours, it's yours to keep, man. Um, yeah, we don't need it. Oh, that's awesome. That's uh, that's amazing. Um, okay. Uh, I'll hold you to that. But, here's the deal. Can I get it started and borrow it for the morning before I bring you the money back? I've got something that's going to come good. And that will give me the cash that I can use to pay you. Oh, sure, dude. Yeah, whatever you want. I'm pretty relaxed about the whole thing. You're a legend, buddy. Thank you. I will see you later. Well, there we go. Good old Clint. He is the nicest guy in the world. And here is his old milk truck. Yeah, it looks like it's not been used for a while. Everything looks in working order. I'm guessing it probably just needs a little bit of TLC in the engine to uh, get it started up. So uh, we'll give it a whirl. Oh, there we go. That didn't take much, did it? How exciting. Well, five grand. That's a bit of a steal for this. I don't know what capacity it is or anything. Wow, this is a nice little old truck. I'm kind of hoping the tank was cleaned before it was put aside for uh, a few years. Well, there's going to be a bit of cheese in the oil. But uh, we'll fill this up. There is a... Uh, an oil point just inside the town, um, which we will drop this off at, and uh, see what sort of money we can make. There we go, we are full, nearly 7,000 litres in there. This is exciting, and also timely, like I said. If the sheriff comes back and shuts us down, I don't know whether we've got the mineral rights on, I have no idea. i have to have a chat to Daryl and see what he says. But um, here we are, on our merry way. So we will see you at the oil cell point. Okay, so here we are, heading into town. This is a lovely little truck, actually. It runs nice for its age. And uh, I believe we just need to take the first turning just here. I've not been down this way before. I believe there are some uh, production facilities down here that we can take advantage of. There's quite a large cell point there, grain cell point there. Past this caravan, it looks like a co-op or something. Yep, the Clearwater Cooperative. There's a BGA facility there. And I do believe here is the local cell point. There we go, Marathon Petroleum Limited. So we'll uh, pull in here to see if they're willing to buy our oil. So, 
let's hit the button and see what happens. There it is, and look at our money going up. Oh my goodness, 14,000, there's 10,000 of income from that. So we are, we're onto something there. That is very exciting. That could be a brilliant money spinner. Right, we're done. So straight away, I think we go back and pay Clint his money. Here we are back at Clint's. Clint, my friend, you are a lifesaver. Thank you so, so much. Here is your five grand. Dude, that was fast. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Anything else you need, just give me a shout. Thank you, Clint. I appreciate it. And um, maybe I want to smoke a few less of those. Right, so there you go. You can see we've just paid our 5000 to Clint. We're going to leave the truck here, I think, this time. I'm going to jump into Daryl's truck again. Um, now, there's a few things I want to do. There's a few things kind of hanging over me at the moment. One is to find out the deeds for the land. To know if we've got the mineral rights or not. The second is to try and get some contracts lined up. We still need more money. I still need to buy some farm equipment. I don't have anything like that at the moment to move things on. Now it is raining. Um, ideally, you would not want to do uh, contracts in the rain, particularly fertiliser contracts, which of which there are a couple at the moment. But um, beggars can't be choosers, so we might just have to uh, we might just have to deal with it. But in the meantime, we're heading back to town hall to speak to Enid who is the lovely lady that helped us last time Let's see if we can get a few more answers well, let's pop in and see her and see what she's got to say oh hello again you were the man that came in the other day how can I help you ah yes I'm looking for the deeds for Bighorn Lake I need to know what the mineral rights are for that piece of land no problem let me just go and get that for you I'm sorry, I'm having trouble locating it. What do you mean? It's, n it's not here at all? Yeah, I have all the other documents for the whole area. Except for that one. It's very strange, it should be there. Nobody really has access to this stuff. Um, so... Maybe somebody's just misplaced it. Or worse, somebody's stolen it. Thank you, Enid. I think I know where I'd put my money on that one. Actually, FSG, there's one more thing before you go. You're, uh, you're Ambrose's nephew, aren't you? Yeah, yes, yes, I am. Why? He did say to me a while back before he died that uh, he was leaving a few things here for his nephew if he ever came to these parts. Um, so he he asked me to give you these. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So Uncle Ambrose had a cabin up in the woods where he liked to go hunting at the weekends. It's still there, and it belongs to me now. Well, there we go. That is an interesting turn of events. So my big concern is, where are the deeds for Bighorn Lake? That land rightfully belongs to me, but for some reason, the deeds are not in the town hall. But, on the flip side of that, I potentially have my own home. <laughs> we'll have to go and check that out at some point. But for now, I have got a little bit of predicament on my hands. It's 11am, we've got work to do, and I also need to work out where those deeds are. So, we've just had a call from one of Clint's mates another farmer who is looking for some more contract work. It is fertilising. He actually says he wants it done in the rain because he thinks it dissolves into the soil better, so who are we to argue with that? So we're just heading to the field now to pick up that contract. And there it is, a uh, fertilising contract with Leroy, $11,200. Uh, we 
we're going to lose $2,200 because we're going to use his equipment, which is unfortunate, but necessary at the moment. Um, but that could be a nice little earner. So we'll jump in and we will get that done. Okay, here we are. Here's the equipment. Nice new Massey tractor. And a big fertilizer spreader. And this is our field. So let's jump in and get the job done. Well, here we are on our last pass, just heading up to the top of the field here. Uh, I do believe the last time we checked the contract was on 97%, so we will get a little alert in a minute telling us the contract is complete, and we will be able to... Uh, there we go, contract on field 4 is finished. We'll do the right thing, we'll head to the top. But that is us, we will collect this contract, and that is another pile of money in the bank, which is fantastic. Now. Um, the weather doesn't look like it's going to stop any time soon. Much as I would like to fertilise our crops, I'm not doing it in the rain. But we'll head back to the truck now, park this up, and he can come and collect it and we will head on our merry way. So, money collected for our contract, we are heading now up to find Uncle, oh, what was that noise? That was an elk. Now, somebody did tell me if you can find elk antlers here on the farm, and when you hear that bugle call, you know there's one nearby, you can make a little bit of money. So let's just see if we can spot one. I think they're worth around about a thousand dollars a time, so not to be sniffed at. So we're just going to have a little look around, see if we can spot it. And there we go, an elk antler. Look at that. Now if I press the R button, awesome, you found an elk antler. And there we go, a thousand dollars extra in the bank. So we'll keep an eye open for a few more of those and listen for those sounds, because that is a nice little earner. Right, it is time for us to go and find out a little bit more about Uncle Ambrose's cabin. Very excited to find out what's uh, going... Whoa! That was a truck from the mine that we saw last night. What is going on? He seemed in a hurry. Anyway, we are going right here. We are not going up to that mine. I've had a little bit too much of that mine recently. Now, um, it's really toying on my mind what we do about those fuel cans up on the ridge. I want to tell the sheriff, but I also know that I don't trust the sheriff one iota, so we'll have to decide what we're going to do. But um, morally, I think he needs to know. But anyway, for now, 
Now let's go and check out this log cabin. So here we are, and it is down by the shore of Hatchet Lake here. So if I pull in over here, that's the sign for McKinley National Park. Now I believe it might just be over to the right here. Can't see anything, but uh, oh, wait a minute! Look at this place. Oh yes, I love it. So let's have a look at what we have here. This is lovely. Lovely rural setting. Nice views over the lake here. Shame the weather isn't better. Let's head in and see what's what. It's got all the mod cons we need. TV. Lovely layout. Look at that. Beautiful. There's our bed. And the bathroom. I need a bit of a clean. Very, very nice. And I wonder what's up here. So rummaging around in the loft up here, we found a few papers and a note from Ambrose. And it said, Hello FSG. If you are here and you have found this note, it means I'm no longer about. I have left some of my fortune dotted around the local area. It is in bonds for purchasing land only. You cannot use it for anything else. But it will come in very handy when bartering with the locals. Good luck. You're going to need it. Wow, the plot thickens even more. I'm going to keep that one quiet for now. I don't think I'm going to tell anybody about that. I'm beginning to worry a little bit about who I can trust in this town other than Clint. So for now we'll keep that one quiet. But it's nice to have a home. I am enjoying the fact that I am indoors with that weather going. So for now we will stay here. Have a look at the classifieds. I do need a fertiliser spreader and I do need to build out my farm equipment. I would love to build a shed as well so We'll do a little bit of shopping while we're here, see what we can find. And if this weather settles, we'll head back outside. Well, we ended up having a little power nap in the afternoon. And look what we've woken up to. The rain has abated. We've got this lovely early afternoon sunshine over the hills. This is an absolutely beautiful area of the map. Our new home is beautiful. We've got space for parking there. So, with all that said, we've got to go and get some new stuff. John, at the dealership in town, has been having a look around for us. He's found us a lovely little fertiliser spreader. So we are going to run back to the yard. We're going to pick up the little John Deere. And we are going to go pick up our brand new fertiliser spreader. So we will see you over there. Well, here we are arriving back at the yard just as the sheriff is back. Oh man, give me a break. What do we think he wants now? Hello son. I told you I'd be back. Okay. Stomp up. Let's see the paperwork. Yeah, I don't have the paperwork. In fact, can I report missing paperwork from Town Hall? Missing paperwork, right. I've heard that one before. So what you're saying is you have no paperwork to prove you own the mineral rights to this land? No, I'm saying the paperwork wasn't at Town Hall where it should be. I haven't taken it. So I, I don't have the evidence. Well, I told you, son. If you couldn't stump up the evidence, I'm shutting you down. Turn that oil pump off now, and you do not move a drop of oil. I swear this place is going to be the end of me. Listen, Sheriff. Um, 
I think it's important I tell you something that I discovered the other night up on Burnt Ridge as well. Oh, interesting. Well, Jeb reported to me that there was trespassers up there the other night. Anything you want to tell me? Don't know what Jeb's talking about. I've taken a walk up on public land up there, but nothing more than that. But what I did find was some some fuel cans up on Burnt Ridge. It made me wonder if that fire was was not an accident. Boy, you're as crazy as your Uncle Ambrose was. I won't hear any nonsense like that anymore. That was an accident, a terrible accident, and it will stay that way. My advice to you? Keep your head down, stay out of other people's business, or your time here is not going to go the way you want it. <laughs>